Today I'm going to show you something super simple and that's how to make an envelope liner. Now first you'll start out with your envelope. Ideally you'll do calligraphy on the front first, but since I'm just doing a sample envelope I have a blank one here. Second you'll want to choose what paper is going to make up your liner. You can use any paper you want really as long as it's not super thick so no card stocks. I've chosen to use a menu from Frosco, which is a frou-frou restaurant here in Boulder. It actually started off all folded up like this, but if you just take an iron to the, to the folds, then it can straighten right out. So what you're going to do is you're going to open the envelope like so, and then just make sure you get all of the graphics in there uh, that you want to. So everything under the envelope will be included in the liner. Then what you're going to do is trace around the envelope. And you can trace around the bottom too if you want to. It's not necessary though, um, especially with colored envelopes like these because the point is not privacy, right? I mean, no one's going to be able to see through this envelope anyway. The point is to just have a pretty graphic from here to here. Okay, so once you've traced over that, you want to take your scissors and cut this out. Alright, now that your liner is cut out, it's the same size as the envelope, so the first thing that we're going to do is cut a little bit off the bottom because otherwise we won't be able to seal the envelope because this will obscure the sticky part. So I usually do about an inch, a few centimeters here, and actually a little more might be safe. And then the other issue you're going to have is this liner is the exact same width as the envelope, which means that it's not going to fit inside the envelope. You can see we've got just a little bit of space here. Uh, it's just a little bit too big. So you can just eyeball this. Um, cut just a little bit off of both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your goal really is to just get this thing to fit in the envelope. And if you're a measurement type person, I'm doing probably an eighth to a quarter of an inch off of each side, but again, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so then test it out, see if it goes in there. And it looks like we've got victory here. So what you're going to do now is just line up the liner exactly how you want it to be in the envelope. And this looks just about perfect. There's still enough room to seal the envelope. That's excellent. And the shape is perfect. So now you'll fold the envelope down and try to fold that liner in there. So you're making a big crease. And now the liner is prepared as far as the fold goes. So take the liner out of the envelope. And then take a scrap piece of paper. Turn your liner around. And you're going to put glue along the sides here. Make sure you're either using a glue stick or brushing glue on. You don't want to put dots of glue or squiggles of glue because otherwise it's going to dry by bubbling up and it's not going to look very nice. And then as far as the bottom part of the liner, 
You really don't need to put a lot of glue there. First of all, because it's going to be hard to push down into the envelope if you do that. And secondly, this part of the liner is not coming out if this part is glued in. So it's really only necessary to do about this much. As long as you have the triangle all glued, then you're good to go. Okay, so then take your envelope again and slip this inside. And make sure your folds line up. Okay. And then just press the glue down. And there you go, instant envelope liner. You can use this technique for any sort of envelope as you saw earlier in this tutorial. I used it on a square envelope. Um, and then there are different flap styles that will also accommodate this. So you, can, you are now equipped to put really neat liners in all of your envelopes.